Hello everyone and welcome back to Zudesia Zoo! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here in the tropical section of our zoo where we have been doing so much work lately! I am so excited and so proud for how far the, the hummingbird and chameleon exhibit has come and today we have something new to show you guys in there! It's a keeper! I have added in one of our old reptile keepers, Zinnia, back into the chameleon exhibit because I was like, oh wait a second, I did have reptile keepers! And so we now have Zinnia in there and she she can actually not only trade us items that we can give to her to take care of the hummingbirds and take care of the chameleons, but she can also trade us some really fantastic books that will have lots of information about hummingbirds and chameleons in them. And that is something I want to set up in each and every exhibit that we have here in Zudesia so that any guests who come by can pick up a book and learn quite a bit more than just what the NPCs can tell them about their, uh, their animal of choice. So today we're going to go down and meet Zinnia first thing. I hear you guys! We'll go say hello to the peafowl in just a second too. I could have sworn I just had some papaya. I know I had papaya. Where'd it go? No, my papaya is gone! I'm sorry guys! You got some papaya growing up there. I guess I have to climb the mountainside again really quickly. There we go. Dun 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 dun! Eh, eh. There we go. Hello sheep! Are you happy sheep? I'd be happy actually. It's very pretty up here. I love how we put the lanterns up everywhere too. It looks really nice. All right, I'm gonna get this, gonna get this. Oh, sheep, thank you for showing me that you've actually got a really cool little mushroom garden collection down here. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna pick these up because I actually wanna share these with our friends. So we'll leave the one in the middle, but I'm going to save these to give to our friends as a present. Zoe seems to be trying to fish, which is just fine. And ta -da! now we're over here and let's go meet Zenya. And there she is, getting sprinkled on a little bit from the sprinklers. Oh, did you guys see that? <gasps> it's a chameleon! It's a chameleon! Oh, he's gonna turn all red. Watch out for the grub. Don't smish him. He's needed to be chameleon food. Oh, look at that! Oh my gosh! All right, how you doing, little guy? <gasps> oh, he's changing color. I just cannot get over these guys. Oh, oh whoops, a daisy. I just think that they're the prettiest things when they're... Oh, where'd he go? He's off. I think they're so pretty when they change color into the flower colors. Oh, look, there's another one! Chameleons in the trees. It's so awesome. But you guys, it was really cool. So you know how we set these... Oh, Zoe? How are you, Zoe? <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. But you know how we set up these sprinklers so that the chameleons would have a lot of humidity in their enclosure and they would have a lot of moisture? Well, it turns out that hummingbirds... <gasps> Look, it's another one! Oh, that's so cool! I love seeing the chameleons in the trees. Oh my gosh, is that a third one? No, it's just a leaf. That's okay, it's just a leaf. False alarm. There's another hummingbird, though. But it turns out hummingbirds also love being next to sprinklers or misters that are, like, really gentle. So, you know, not like a sprinkler, like, at a water park where you jump in front of it, but, like, a little misting sprinkler, like the kind that you would use for chameleons. Apparently, hummingbirds really, really love to kind of zip in and out of those. They love to drink from them. So we ended up, like, two for one on these sprinklers here, and I'm really excited about that. So let's pop down. Hello, Zanya! How are you, my friend? Oh, hello, Zoe! <laughs> Zoe, why don't you sit? I need to have my dogs here. Have a pig's ear, or two, or three, because you're really hungry. I need to get you some food. And where's my other dog? I don't see any dogs dancing up there, but we're going to make sure they're, they are responsible and safe when we come into our animal exhibits, because I don't want... Oh, <laughs> Zanya, you just took a hummingbird to the forehead. I hope you're okay. And if we talk with her, then she'll tell us a little bit. Would you like some informational books about our chameleons or hummingbirds? I've got some to trade, and that you do, Zenya, my dear! So if we come and speak with her, she has one line where we've got things that we can trade to her in return for zookeeper experience points, which, as you guys know, you can turn into the banker to get coins. So zookeeper experience can be turned in for, like, a paycheck, or you can turn it in for special items. We just haven't set up, like, a zookeeper stand yet. But I'm not sure. In fact, you guys had some really amazing ideas for what to do with all of the little garden spots, all of the spots we want to kind of fill in with decorative pieces over there. You had some really great ideas about that. So what kind of items do you think should be available for zookeeper experience points? Should it be maybe spawn eggs for some of the harder to find animals? Maybe some super rare plants? Maybe some really nice gear that has unique enchantments or names on it? Let me know because we'll come up with some of those ideas for when we're able to make like more zookeeping uh bureaucracy zookeeping 
administration, that's the word I'm looking for, that we can trade the experience to so it doesn't just go to being wooden coins. And what we can trade to her for experience includes sugar. So sugar for the hummingbirds and putting the sugar in the hummingbird feeders. Whoops, hey Zinnia, I wasn't done! But yeah, sugar, which will turn into zookeeper experience points, but the sugar is for the hummingbird feeders, which are like these guys over here. And you can actually make sugar water, like nectar, for hummingbirds yourself. They really like 35% sugar in their water, and you always want to make sure, like you can see that stuff at pet stores, and you can see that stuff like at all the department stores and Walmart and places like that where it's the red dye. You actually want to try to avoid the red dye, just boiling some water and mixing a cup of water with about a fourth a cup of sugar and I have to double check that I think that's the ratio uh, of white granulated sugar you don't want to use brown sugar you don't want to use any sugar with anything special in it because it can actually kill the hummingbirds like cane sugar that has iron in it can also kill the hummingbirds so even if it's fancy and organic and everything double check to make sure it doesn't have a ton of iron in it they're very tiny creatures and just a little bit too much sugar can do them do them injustice oh they're so pretty but yeah so sugar for zookeeper experience points you can also bring her grass and rotten flesh so why on earth would she want grass and rotten flesh and that's actually because she uses the grass and the rotten flesh to find crickets and maggots to feed to the chameleons so the chameleons are insectivores they love eating insects and to kind of give that allure of having insects here that is why we have mr grub oh there's mr tate and there's Mr. Grub right here, being a good old grub. Whoops, and we want to be careful. We don't let, I think we let a, a hummingbird out last time, so we're going to be very careful. Tate, you stay there, buddy. But yeah, the grubs represent, like, the chameleon's diet. And because they're, oh, hello, yes, you. You brightly colored, sir, you. Oh, look at him change his greens as he runs. Oh, where's he going? I actually really like following him around. Oh, there he is. Oh, look at him go. Oh, my gosh. He's a climber. All right, he's settling down on the leaf. Do you see him? Oh, that's so cool. I seriously want to bring some of my friends. Okay, I thought that was Zoe, like, for just a second. I was like, Zoe, no. Get down before you push him off again. Okay, good girl. But yeah, I seriously want to bring my friends over here and just, like, have a picnic in this exhibit because it's awesome. All right, but she basically gets the food for the chameleons from the grass, looking for crickets, or from the rotten flesh, looking for maggots. And you can get the spawn eggs if you want, because I don't think crickets and maggots should really be that rare. Or you can just get the zookeeper experience and use the zookeeper experience for whatever you need. There's also the fresh water that you can get and bring to her. It's pretty easy to get fresh water. Like, you literally just take a bucket. I'm pretty sure I have a bucket. And there's a bucket. You just take a bucket and you go like to the nearest source of water, pick it up, and then you put the bucket in your crafting section right here, and you get some fresh water. So very, very easy, so it's very cheap to get in the experience points to bring her water, but fresh water is always needed for all the animals, and especially for the chameleons and the hummingbirds, since you mix the water with the sugar to make sugar water. And then if you want to start your own hummingbird garden, then she will actually sell you some of the key plants that you need. So she'll sell you the Panama Queen, the Peruvian Lily, she'll sell you some of the flowering vines that have the colors and have the shapes that the hummingbirds are very, very attracted to with those reds and those oranges and the tube trumpet shaped flowers. That's what we're thinking of. Now in real life the Panama Queen does not really fit what the hummingbirds are going for but it looks really cool for here so we're just gonna roll with it. And then she'll also sell you willow saplings too in case you want to try to put up some willow leaves and that soft fibrous plant for the hummingbirds to enjoy. And then finally we have the books, the books about, about the animals and today I want to get some of those books and I think we're gonna have to earn Earn our keep a little bit in order to do that. Darn. <laughs> yeah, I think we need to go up and we need to try to... I have one sugar. Okay, we can at least do this one sugar. And so let's do a little bit of trading. Come on, Zoe. And let me put my armor on, just in case. Oh, and that reminds me, actually, speaking of trading... All right, hummingbirds over there. Dash out. Come pick up Tate. Hello, noisy ones! How are you guys today? You've got some of your floating eggs bobbing around, I see. Yeah, don't mind me. I'm just going to collect them up. Because Ethan, Keeper Ethan, now has a special... Let me walk over here. This mushroom. Walk over here. Walk over here. Where's our vulture? And 
some some of you guys came up with a really good name for a vulture and it was like the keeper or the, like the messenger and so i think we're gonna name her like the messenger or something like that um because we had our people of prophecy crystal seer and this is crystal seer's friend who like travels abroad and brings back messages of prophecies that one day we may need to chase down so yeah that, i actually am really excited about that Ooh, and let's get these tropical gardens don't mind if i do always need more of these guys there we go and let's see there should be some yeah there we go some papaya hang on ladies i'm coming and there oh look at that mushroom way up there oh that's right it's on the mushroom island that's why it's a mushroom and a mushroom with some glow worms on it the glow worm queen helped us out when we did that all right let me see if i can get this last papaya and there we go all right hang on you noisy ones oh they're so pretty Oh, I love it when they flutter their tails. Oh, so pretty. They're just so awesome. All right, so let's come over here. And Keeper Ethan actually has a new trade now where we can come over to him and we can trade him the peafowl eggs. And in return, get lots of zookeeper experience. Not a ton because peafowl eggs used to be super rare and precious and now you can kind of find them everywhere because you just come in here for a few minutes. But it means that anyone with peafowls can come here, they can get zookeeper experience which they can use to spend somewhere in our zoo. Um, maybe we'll use it like as a special gift shop sort of thing or they could just use it to um, get money and then use money anywhere in the world. We're setting up tons of trades and tons of villages all over the place so it'll be really fun. And then I just remembered about the snail. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, we did set up. I know you noisy, noisy ones. Is there another? I think there's another tree with papaya nearby. Oh, that one's already regrown. Not bad. Oh, there it is. See, I knew there was another papaya tree nearby. We'll go ahead and grab these as well. Might need to go visit the banker today because I want to get that book. And we'll add those two books about our animals to our home. Ooh, let's just go ahead and get this uh, wild nutmeg while we're here. There we go. And then actually it wouldn't be, well, if we don't have any snails, I don't want to come back. So one second. We're going to check our, our fish traps because in our last zookeeper, uh, in our last side quest with our zoo kitchen side quest, we put some fish bait into the fish traps to try to get some raw snails to feed our peafowl. And I'm really excited that we have like each exhibit right now has a way to feed and care for the animals and except for the Confuciornis now that I think of it. There goes the fish bun! Bounce little fish bun, bounce! Hello Shipu! Do you mind if I shear you? Thank you very much. And let me gather up this grass actually if my dogs would let me. I'm not sure if they're gonna let me. Let's see, there's one grass and here's two grass and three grass, four grass, five grass, and six grass, and monsters. Oh dear. Oh, oh geez, Mr. Sheep to weep. Oh, and there's a harmless snake. Okay, everybody's super excited. Hello, sheep sheep. Everybody's excited to see me, and I'm a little hungry, so let's nibble on our less wraps. Oh my gosh, hello guys. Yeah, I'm wearing, I'm wearing the, the shepherdess headdress. The flower headband of the like worthy shepherd or what? Oh, that's actually a really cool name. We should make one, rename it that on the anvil. <laughs> then anyone who wins like a sheep contest, we could have a sheep shearing contest with the rest of the server members one day. And anyone who wins can wear like the shepherdess headband of awesomeness. But let's go down. We're gonna go. It's night, so actually the lily pad bridge would be very pretty right now to look at. See? Oh. Oh, we, we have more lilies. We do have more lilies. It's just they're all up in the, um, they're up in the swoop de whoop They're up in the plant sorting chamber. So we'll have to go get them. All right, sit Tate. And where's Zozo? Sit Zoe for just a moment. I'm going to come down here and we're going to check. And don't worry, we will build Tate a little dock. A lot of you guys have said, Lily has a bridge, and she's going to get a little shop where the Lily, you can see these are actually glowstone center flowers. So they are lily pads and lily flowers with glowstone on them, so they act as glowstone blocks and light up the river. And we're going to cover the river in them in the future. But Lily's going to have those, and we're going to give Tate something cool in regards to fish, for sure. And darn, I don't see a single... All right, we've got like turtles and eels and catfish, walleyes, snappers, clownfish, octopus. Um, but I don't see a single snail. 
So that's too bad because snails uh, are a part of like peacock diets. A lot of birds will eat snails if they can. <gasps> snails! We have two snails to feed to our peafowl. And here's some frogs. I really need to make someone to. Oh, well, I guess we don't have a frog model yet. Ugh, darn. Well, we'll have to work on that. And there's actually some scallops, and here's some octopi, and here's some mudfish. <laughs> so we'll gather those guys up. That is so fun. We might have to do a fishing day soon. So much to do in the zoo. Always so much to do in the zoo. All right, let's see. I'm going to put this stuff away real quick. There we go. Try to give myself a little bit of room to work here. And let's go see Banker Amber which is going to be a little bit of an adventure. But we actually need to turn our zookeeper experience points in anyway because I need more dog food. So this is a good thing. Do do do. I'm going to possibly take sunflower instead of the dogs though. Cuz the dogs, well, you know, Banker Amber's not that far away, I guess. All right. Come on, puppies. I just heard you guys pick something up. So you're making bath day interesting. That's for sure. Oh, and that's true. We can go in and say hello to the villagers in Zomberry Village. That will allow them to, like, drop all sorts of diamond and gold and be happy. All right. Hey, Tate. All right. Let's put this away. And let's jump up. I almost thought I missed the moss for a second. Whoops. Wrong story. Almost thought I missed the moss for a second. It made me really nervous that I was about to fall. In fact, I should take these still leaf boots. I need to wash them so that they regain their durability. Darling! And then I should take them to um, Mara's place and we should get feather falling put on them. All right, let's put these eggs away real quick. Hello, Martha, hello. I'm gonna put these away and then I need to actually uh, get all the zookeeper experience points. Oh man, oh dear. Is there gonna be enough room for all this stuff? Um, probably not. Hey, Primrose, I hope you're having a good dinner with Carlos. And let's come down in here and put away these and keep the snails and put away the octopus <laughs> and the raw walleye. Can we make the octopus into, like, California rolls, a fish dinner? Can you do, like, oh my gosh, you can do cook an octopus? <gasps> Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, I guess there's no octopus model either. I'm pretty sure there's not. Oh, and it's finally dawn too. Let's see, octo, yep, there's no octopus model. Oh, that would be kind of hilarious if there was. All right, let's put this away. And anything else I can put away? Okay, we should be all right. All right, hello, Martha. I'm claiming all of my zookeeper experience and I do have a ton of coins here too. Oh, I can take some of these as well. I know, I know. You're very disapproving that I'm draining the bank account, especially when we're relatively poor. But it's for good cause, Martha. Good cause indeed. Education. Getting more books from our keepers. Alright, so let's come on up. And basically the experience points are just like your evidence of work. They're all still hiding. We little villagers! Oh, are there some in here? <gasps> There's some in here! Come on, puppies! Woo, look at that! All right, Zoe, I think you picked up some good stuff. All right, so Zoe's has activated. Here's some villagers. Hey, Matt, how are you? Oh, glowstone, not bad. Matt, um, I would like to get in, please. All right, let's see if I can attract Tate this way. Come on, Tate. Did you activate the same villager? Okay, I don't think we're gonna get them to drop any more stuff. All right, thank you very much, villager. There's that arrow again. <gasps> You guys, this mystery of why that arrow is there creeps me out. It, like, disappears. It's a phantom arrow. If you stare at it long enough, it disappears. And then I'll run by again, and there's the arrow again. I'd love to hear any theories about what that's about. All right. Banker Amber, are you doing all right? Your doors are open, but you're fine. No one's robbed of the bank, thank goodness. So now we can take all of the Zookeeper Experience points and turn them into emerald coins, like so. Do-do-do. Do-do-do. And basically, this is how we turn in our paycheck, which I really love. And then we just come over here. I want all these into wooden coins. Da na 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 na. There we go. And we can even turn these into more stacks of wooden coins. I don't think we'll need too many though. There we go. Yay! See, so all of our hard work in the zoo is going to pay off because there are other villages that are being built. There's lots of other things that the other server members are working on. Oh, you guys can come in here. 
It's James. It's for the it's for the puppy treats, Zozo. It's for the puppy treats. But there's tons of other builds and buildings and places and special events and festivals and everything that are going to go down where it's going to be very helpful to bring your moolah so that you can afford uh, the cool things that are going to be happening. All right, so let's see. Now we need to get some food for our dogs. And there's venison, apple, and spinach. There's ostrich, carrot, and sweet mash. There's beef and liver. Um, let's see. I want to get salmon, rice, and apple. I know this is silly, but I want to get some salmon, rice, and apple for the dogs. And then we'll go with the um, I'm not sure, pork and sweet pea. Chicken, rice, and blueberry is what I normally get for them. So we'll go ahead and just get that for them. And what this does is it just puts dog food that we can buy. Because this, I mean, look at this. This is almost a whole stack. This is a whole stack of chicken. Do you know how long that would take me to gather on my own from my animal traps? It would take me a very, very long time. All right, almost there. And there we go. And let's do, I kind of want to do some of this venison. I know that's really silly, but I do. All right, and then there's seven left. So let's get one pig's ear. And two more chicken rice and, and blueberry. There we go. Thank you so much, James. His sister has not yet joined us, but this is the doggy daycare. So this is where the dogs can kind of come to hang out and they can be well taken care of, watched over. Um, there might be dogs for adoption on occasion here. We're gonna start doing like little message boards and things like that. Ooh, I could gather up lots of grass to get some more uh, crickets over here. Now that's useful. Whoops, that's long grass. Don't need that. Okay, 18. That's probably plenty. All right. Come along, pup pups. And now, finally, let's go down. This shouldn't be too hard. Oh, and I need to gather up these peaches really quickly, too, because I love pralines. I don't know why. I don't even eat them very often, but I'm just on a praline kick. I think it's because they're, they're so cool. You just take nuts and you just cover them in like melted sugar and voila, you have a praline. All right. Plus it's good for the dogs to have lots and lots of experience. Where did all this grass come from? I should peck away at that grass and put a garden there instead so my little villagers have a garden to focus on. All right. Oh, I have mail. What? 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 Okay, you guys, we're going to look at that tomorrow. I'm not I'm not peeking any more than that. Okay, that was way exciting. Breathe, breathe, Siri. I think I know who that's from too. And why is he always so amazingly sweet? Oh my goodness. We'll look at that tomorrow. That'll be what we do tomorrow first thing. Because that's exciting. There we go. Swim, swim, swim for your life. And we're almost there. Wink. All right. So let's go and give these little yummy snails over to the peafowl. They're going to be very happy to have their little munchy crunchy snail in the shell food. Ooh! And I have, I spent all my money on dog food! Oh my goodness, I can't trade my own little coins. I want some food from here and I can't get any. Oh, There's another floating egg. I bet that's Crystal Sears offspring. All right. And no, you two sell the same things, don't you? Darn! You know, oh, you guys, we should have an ATM! We should have an ATM that trades like the coins and things like that. Oh, that would be brilliant. Oh, that would be so cool. All right, so we're gonna come over to you, sir. And we're gonna trade the eggs I just picked up. And the snails, there we go. That makes me happy. And now we're gonna go and we're gonna get the books, you guys! The books to add to our little library that we have up with Persephone. Hello, Zinya! Oh, this is feeling more and more like a complete exhibit. I feel like I just wanna put some signs up here and there, though. Maybe. Um, like, even by the plants. Even just to be, like, a uh, Panama Queen or something like that. Oh, we should do that. Do I have any signs? Nothing there. Nothing there. I have signs! Let's put, like, three signs up and just make them say useful things, like... Uh, Panama Queen Flower. Dun dun! And then maybe like something. Oh, yeah, like these guys. Oh, hello, sir! Like something over here. Can I put this here? Thank you! Uh, giant flowers collected from 
Alex's uh, Alex's swamp garden or Alex's garden. I'm just gonna call it his garden. Uh, and I'm gonna have to back, 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 back. Okay, there we go. Giant flowers collected from Alex's swamp garden. There we go. That makes me happier. And then over here, is there like I could put a little sign that says like Asian uh Asian river and cave exhibits. And that is what we're going to be building that away. Oh, everything looks so much more official with signs. I am happy duck. I am a happy duck. Zinya, Zinya, you want to look at me, Zinya? <gasps> almost. There we go. Nope, almost. Come on, a little bit. Oh, she's camera shy. Okay, Zinya. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I see how it is. I see how it is. Okay. Yeah, that better? That's better. There we go. All right, and we're going to go ahead and I've spent all my coins. All my wooden coins. Well, guys, that's embarrassing. That's very embarrassing. We went all over there to get it just so we could get the books and I spent all my coins. <laughs> let's go ahead. We'll get some crickets. <laughs> let's, let's train for a few crickets and I'll spawn in some crickets so we can make things a little bit less embarrassing. There we go. There we go. Oh, and I think a cricket just like died. Really? No, no, they're okay, actually. All right, good. Uh, well, that's a little embarrassing, guys. I have to say that, um, okay, we can't get the books today. But the good news is we've made this place look more official. And we definitely have learned that I need to set up little ATM machines somewhere. The NPCs that we can call ATMs. <laughs> that maybe we can, instead of having to run to Amber every time, we can set up ATMs so you can trade the Zookeeper experience. And you can trade the, um, the coins for their different values while you're still here in the zoo. So that's going to be fun. Oh, see, you never know what's going to happen when you're busy working in the zoo. You never know what ideas you're going to come up with. There's that other papaya tree. It's just so fantastic. It just really is. And I love it. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.